Hi, my name is Megan with the blog WilsonHomsa.com and welcome to today's vlog. We have some exciting things going on lately. We just got in our order of 600 trees finally, so we are gonna be planting those this weekend. I was just at um, Luke's aunt's house today and I got a bunch of herbs and perennial flower, oops, perennial flower starts from her. She just broke off her bigger established plants and gave me a bunch of starts. So it's evening now, I'm just making dinner. I'm making bacon, fried eggs, um, sweet and sour cauliflower. But we just got the all the trees in the mail today. And then starting tomorrow, and so tomorrow and Saturday is gonna be full tree planting days. So hopefully we can get them all in in time. <laughs> Do the lovage, the tarragon, the chives, bee balm. But I guess that'll fill up a row with the herbs. So Stanley's been banished to live with the pigs because he won't stop eating the chicken's eggs. So he can fend for himself with the piglets now. He's not going to get out of this. He kept flying over that little fence and getting in the chicken yard and he'd scare out a bunch of chickens and the rooster and eat all the eggs and if this doesn't work he's going to become dinner because he's just becoming a useless animal. All right, so it's the next morning, and after looking at those trees we got in the boxes, it looks like they sent us double of the hybrid poplars and none of the Russian mulberries we ordered. So I called the lady this morning and she was super nice about it. They're going to, I'm sending her pictures just com to confirm that we got too many of those and that we don't, didn't get any of the mulberries. So if, once she sees the pictures, she's gonna get the Russian mulberries sent back out on Monday and we'll probably have to ship back the hybrid poplar, the ones that we got too much of. So we'll just plant the ones we're able to and then probably next weekend we will be able to plant the Russian mulberries. So thankfully that's gonna be all sorted out. I was really worried about that last night. I was hoping that they would make it right and send those back out. So, but they've been super nice about it and I'm Really excited to get all the ones that we do have planted this weekend. We're gonna drive out to the pasture and start planting trees. We're gonna start with the evergreens and then we'll do, Luke did the apricots this morning already and then we'll do the hybrid willows. So, very exciting. Where are you kids? Hi. You guys excited to plant trees? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna help? Yeah. Good. First of the 600. Oh uh, yeah. Boom. Oh. What? Micro-wisel. Here we 
Here, hold up the bag. Thanks. Taken away by the wind. No, no, no. The worm needs to stay in there. It's going to help the tree be healthy. All right, we've got quite a few done now. We're alternating the uh, white pine and the Norway spruce trees, alternating along the back fence. So we've got like halfway along the back fence already done, so it's going pretty fast. I'm just going ahead and digging the holes. Luke's planting them, adding the stuff around the roots, and then I'm coming back behind and watering them. So we've got a pretty good system done. <laughs> My dad and my brother and my sister are all here to help us today so hopefully we could just knock out the rest of those trees and get this all done so I'm really excited. Okay, we got all the trees planted. It's actually a couple weeks later now. We got the Russian mulberries in. They sent us all the ones that they missed. So we had uh, like 30 extra of each type of tree. We either gave it to family or we sold off the extra ones. But all the kinds of trees are planted now. We have the hybrid willow, hybrid poplar, Russian mulberry, and then the evergreen, the two kinds of evergreens in the back. There was also a few apricot trees we got from them, and then plum trees we got from one of our neighbors. So, tons of trees, probably close to 600 in total, but if they're all planted, it makes me feel so good that they're finally in the ground. We've got that done. We've been thinking about it forever. Some of them have green buds on them, so they're doing really well. It's really nice when the irrigation pipes are all the way along either the east or the west, fences because then they're watering that entire stretch of trees and we haven't really had to do any watering. The one corner is kind of sub-irrigated so we don't have to water that. There's only one corner where we're going to have to run hoses and sprinkle it. The rest of it is going to be already watered so that's going to be making it really easy. So thank you for following along in this vlog and I hope you, I hope you enjoyed seeing us plant all those trees. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.